In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to cook eggplant. We're gonna make a beautiful pan-fried eggplant. You know, and out of the dozen plus professional kitchens I've worked at over the last 15 years, a lot of them will follow this simple preparation of eggplant. It really is one of the best ways you could cook eggplant. So, you know, we'll start by slicing and salting these eggplants with kosher salt. That's gonna give them this beautiful rounded seasoning, leach out a little bit of the water. We'll then cook them to a really dark, like dark brown, almost black. I'm tired, you know what I'm tired of seeing? I'm tired of seeing videos with eggplants and it's just a slight little bit of color, golden brown. That is wrong! That's not how you cook eggplant, guys. You want it to be black, almost black, like really dark brown, you'll see. And then we'll finish it with a little bit of lemon, some olive oil, and some Malden salt for that beautiful crunch on top. I think you'll notice in a lot of my recipes, I'm seasoning things like two or three times, you know? This is all just seeking out that perfect bite when it comes to food. You know, and coming from England, I got sort of used to the name aubergine. I like that name more, but you know, we're in America, so we're calling it eggplant. You know, and I really wonder like how, how the hell did they come up with that name eggplant? I think it was probably something like this. Well, all right, farmers, the breeding program is complete. We have completed the vegetable. Now, what should we call this thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, Dale, I see you back there. Go ahead, spill your beans. Yeah, well, I reckon it looks a little bit like an egg. So why don't we just call it eggplant? Eggplant, okay? No, no, it does not. It does not look like an egg. In fact, it's the exact opposite color of most eggs. Look, look, man, look, Dale! God damn it, Dale, look! Here's an egg, now take this. I can't tell which hand you put the eggplant in. So, e eggplant? Oh, God, damn it, Dale. Damn it, Dale! Look, why don't we just call it like aubergine, something like that, like aubergine. What? Well, hold on now, Aubergine. Oh, what? This is America now, and this is an eggplant, you hear? God, all right, Dale, God damn, we'll call it eggplant, all right? F we'll call it an eggplant. So one thing I like to do to start is just take my knife and just run these leaves up that were on the top of the eggplant so you can find a good place to make a cut. The bottom you don't really need to cut, you can leave that intact. And then we're gonna slice these about a half inch thick. So we're sort of accounting for the shrinkage that's gonna happen here. So I'm getting about five slices out of these sort of medium sized eggplant. And so this next part would work great with a resting rack, but you can use whatever you want. You just need a little bit of space. So I'm gonna lay out my eggplant. Now kosher salt going down pretty generously here. Just pat it in a little with your hands, flip them, and we're gonna do the other side, and that's that. So we're gonna leave these resting in that salt for about 45 minutes an hour. Like I said in the beginning of the video, this is gonna give us that beautiful rounded seasoning, so don't skip this step. So I think you can see what's happening here is the salt is beginning to pull the moisture to the surface of this vegetable, which is just what we want. Right, now once they've been salted, put them onto a paper towel because we want to drain off any of that excess moisture that may still be on them before we start to cook them. So next step, a ripping hot pan, let's cook. Okay, I've had this all clad pan over high heat for five minutes. I'm gonna add some avocado oil and then we'll start cooking. If you wanted to use olive oil or another kind of oil, you totally could, but I'm gonna be garnishing these with olive oil, so I'm starting with a neutral oil here. Okay, so you see how that oil is rippling? And I don't think you can see the smoke on camera, but there's a little bit of smoke coming off the edges of the pan, so we're ready to start cooking. Now be very careful when you do this. Obviously, always turn it away from you. Feel free to take a little peek as you're cooking them. Like, we're not even getting close with that, right? So here's an example of one that's ready, right? You want it to be like this, like this is, this is where it's at. Almost like burnt looking, but just very dark. So we'll flip them all. A little disappointing right there, right? This is sort of the effect we're going after. Eggplant down. A 
little bit of olive oil like we discussed. Just right on top. Just a little squeeze of lemon. This is really just gonna lift this up, brighten it. And now finally our Malden salt for that beautiful crunch. I'll tell you what guys, this, you remember the yellow squash video? This is a similar kind of texture we got going on with this. Just beautiful, amazing crunch on the outside. And then this pudding like texture in the middle. I'll tell you what guys, you gotta trust me on this one. That is really one of the best ways you can cook eggplant. That's my opinion and countless other chefs. All right, so let's give it a taste. Oh, you can already feel how this texture is just like pudding. Mm. Mm. Like even if you don't like eggplant, you're gonna love this. And, and a lot of it is about the texture, you know? Mm. Like I said, amazing little crunch on the outside. Pudding like texture on the inside. Mm. No more golden brown eggplant, right? It's gotta be dark, dark, dark brown, black. Almost black. It really is an incredible way to cook this vegetable. If you guys are making this at home, follow me on Instagram, same name, Cooking with Sunny. And when you make one of my recipes, tag me in that post and I'd love to share it with everybody in my stories. Well, that is it for today's video, my friend. I hope you're ready to cook some eggplant for your friends and for your family and really blow them away. As always, if you like the content, do not forget to leave it a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.